Question number 71 says that there are three bags. Bag B1 contains two red and A square minus 4A plus 8 black balls. Bag B2 contains one red and A square minus 4A plus 9 black balls. And bag B3 contains three red and A square minus 4A plus 7 black balls. A ball is drawn at random from randomly chosen bag and it was found to be black. Okay, a ball humne randomly draw kari, to wo black nikli. Then the minimum value of probability that this ball came from bag B3 is. We have to find the probability ki jo ball hai wo B3 bag se hai, provided it is given that the ball is black. Right? So this is equal to let B3 be the event ki bag B3 se hai hai ball. B1 be the event that the ball came from bag B1 and B2 be the event that the ball came from bag B2, right? And let us say that B be the event that the ball is found to be black, right? Now, we know that by Bayes' theorem, this can be written equal to probability of B3 intersection B upon probability of B. So, this will be equal to B3 intersection B as we are firstly selecting the bag, so it will be equal to probability of B3 into probability of B when B3 have already occurred. Upon how will we get a black ball? There are three ways. Let us say firstly, humne bag B1 choose kiya. So it will be equal to probability of B1 into probability of B upon B1 plus probability ki humne B2 bag choose kiya. So it will be equal to into probability of B upon B2 plus probability of B3 into probability of B upon B3, right? Now, this will be equal to probability of drawing bag B3 will be equal to 1 by 3, right? And B1, B2 ki bhi same probability hogi. So, these will get directly cancel out, right? Now, probability of getting a black ball from B3 will be equal to. Now, B3 contains 3 red and A square minus 4A plus 7 black balls. So, this will be equal to black balls hai A square minus 4A plus 7 upon total balls which will be equal to A square minus 4A plus 3 plus 7 which will be equal to 10 upon we will get probability of B upon B1. B1 may hai A square minus 4A plus 8 black balls. So, this will be equal to A square minus 4A plus 8 upon total balls kitni hai 2 plus A square minus 4A plus 8 which is again A square minus 4A plus 10. Similarly, B2 se kitna aega? A square minus 4A plus 9 upon A square minus 4A plus 10 plus a square minus 4a plus 7 upon a square minus 4a plus 10. Now, the denominator is same in both numerator and denominator, right? So, this will be equal to a square minus 4a plus 7 upon 3 times a square minus 4a plus 8, right? Now, this can further be written equal to 1 by 3 into 7 ko hum kya lik sakte hai? 8 minus 1, right? So, this can be written equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 into a minus 2 whole square plus 4, right? Now, to find the minimum value of the probability, this value should be maximum and the value of the denominator should be minimum which will be at a equal to 2, right? Now, when a is equal to 2, then the value of the probability will be equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 by 12, right? Which will be equal to 3 upon 12, which will be equal to 1 by 4. So, the correct answer will be option number 3. Next is question number 72, which says that 6 dice are thrown simultaneously. Then the probability that at least 2 of them have different faces is... At least two should have different faces means ki ya to do faces different ho, ya teen faces different ho, ya char faces different ho, ya paanch ya che. 
राइट इसका मतलब क्या हुआ कि सारे फेसेस जो है सेम नहीं होने चाहिए राइट right? इसका मतलब क्या है प्रॉबिबिलिटी ऑफ द रिक्वायर्ड इवेंट ई कैन बी टन इक्वल टू वन माइनस प्रॉबिबिलिटी दैट ऑल शो सेम फेस राइट नाउ दिस विल बी इक्वल टू वन माइनस नाउ सिक्स डाइस है हमारे पास नंबर ऑफ वेज इन विच ऑल विल शो द सेम फेसेस सिक्स राइट दैट इज या तो सिक्स के सिक्स डाइस पे वन आएगा या टू आएगा या थ्री आएगा या फोर फाइव सिक्स ओके सो वी हैव सिक्स वेज सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स अपॉन टोटल नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन दी सैम्पल स्पेस विल बी इक्वल टू पहले डाइस पे छ नंबर आ सकते हैं दूसरे डाइस पे भी छ नंबर आ सकते हैं सो दैट विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स रेज टू दार सिक्स सो दिस इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस वन अपॉन सिक्स रेज टू दार फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्स रेज टू दार फाइव माइनस वन सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू ट्रिपल सेवन सिक्स माइनस वन दैट इज ट्रिपल सेवन फाइव अपॉन सिक्स रेज टू दार फाइव दैट इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी थ्री Which says that five letter words are formed by permuting the letters of the word Kolkata, and one such word is chosen at random. The probability that the chosen word contains both two A's and two K's is right. Now, number of elements in the event E will be equal to. Now, Kolkata me kya hai? We have two K. We have two A's. And O L T, right? ठीक है इसमें से हमने फाइव लेटर वर्ड बनाया है नाउ टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन दी इवेंट ई वी नो दैट हमने दोनों ए भी ले लिए हैं एंड वी हैव टेकन टू केस ऑल्सो राइट अब फिफ्थ लेटर इट कैन इधर बी ओ और एल और टी ठीक है वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट एनी वन लेटर फ्रॉम ओ एल एंड टी सो विच वी गो टू थ्री सी वन इन थ्री सी वन वे I have selected any one letter from these three, right? Now I can permute it in five factorial upon two factorial into two factorial ways, right? So this will be equal to three times one twenty upon four, which is equal to ninety, right? Now these are the number of elements in event E. Now we have to find the number of elements in sample space also, है ना? उसके लिए अब हमारे पास क्या है? We are selecting Five letter word from seven letter word. Now we have to make cases for this. Let us say in case one, I see that when all the five letters are distinct, right? All five are distinct. So how many ways are there? We have K A O L T. Okay, we have five letters and we have to select all five. So the number of ways will be equal to five factorial, which will be equal to one twenty. Now. In case two, I take two alike and three distinct, right? A two alike, three distinct. Now two alike can be taken in two ways, right? In two C one ways, I have selected any one pair out of K K or A E. Now we are left with four letters. Now from four, we have to select any three. So it will be four C three into five factorial upon two factorial, right? So this will be equal to four into five factorial. That is one twenty into four, which is equal to four eighty, right? Similarly, we have case three, where we have two alike and two alike and one distinct, right? So this will be equal to selecting K K A A, right? And from the other three, we have to select any one, which will be three C one into five factorial upon two factorial into two factorial. Right, which is equal to the number of elements in event E, which is again equal to ninety. Right, so the probability of the event E is equal to ninety upon one twenty plus ninety, that is two ten. Now two ten plus four eighty will be equal to six ninety. Right, so this is equal to nine upon sixty nine, which is equal to three upon twenty three. Right, so the correct answer will be option number four. Next is question number seventy-four. A coin is tossed fifteen times. Then the probability of getting at least ten consecutive heads is. Now here the word written over here is at least. So it means that we can have ten consecutive heads. 
और इलेवन कंजेक्टिव हेड और ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन और फिफ्टीन राइट अगर हम इस मेथड से सॉल्व करते हैं कि हमने पहले निकाले एग्जैक्टली टेन कंजेक्टिव हेड्स ठीक है तो उसके लिए हम क्या लेंगे इट कैन इधर बी दीज टेन इट कैन इधर बी दीज टेन राइट तो ऐसे से हम करेंगे तो मेथड विल बिकम वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है ना और हमें फिफ्टीन तक निकालना होगा तो इट विल बिकम वेरी लॉन्ग मेथड सो वी विल सॉल्व इट बाय अनदर मेथड राइट दैट इज द नंबर ऑफ डिजायर्ड केसेस विल बी केस वन वेन वी गेट हेड ऑन द फर्स्ट टेन राइट वेन वी गेट देड ऑन द फर्स्ट टेन एंड ऑन द रेस्ट फाइव वी कैन हैव anything that is either head or tail which will be equal to 1 by 2 raised to the power 10 for these 10 into 1 raised to the power 5 which is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to the power 10 now case 2 is when we have tail on the first and then we can get head 10 times compulsory and on the rest four we can have anything right so its probability will be equal to half probability for tail and half probability for these 10 so it will be equal to 1 by 2 raised to the power 11 into 1 raised to the power 4 right similarly let us find case 3 where on first we can get anything then on second i get tail then i get head 10 times and on the rest 3 we can get anything right so this will be again equal to 1 by 2 raised to the power 11 right 1 for tail and 10 for heads similarly i can write case 4 also where on first and second i get anything then on third i get tail and then i get head for 10 times and on rest 2 i can get anything which will again be equal to 1 by 2 raised to the power 11 and similarly case 5 is when i have three here and then tail head head and then i have one left over here which will again be equal to 1 by 2 raised to the power 11 and then case 6 where i have on first four anything and then i have tail head head up to last right so which will be equal to 1 by 2 raised to the power 11 right so these are the only cases which can be formed so the required probability of the event e will be equal to 1 upon 2 raised to the power 10 plus 5 upon 2 raised to the power 11 now this will be equal to 7 upon 2 raised to the power 11 that is the correct answer will be option number Next is question number seventy-five, which says that a bag contains six white and and black balls. That is, a bag contains six white and n black balls, and another bag contains four white and five black balls. If one ball is drawn from each bag, and the probability of one ball is white and other is black is fifty upon ninety-nine, then the value of n is. right now the probability of getting one ball white and one ball black is equal to either i draw white ball from the first bag by 6 upon 6 plus n probability into or agar maine black ball draw ki from the second bag that is 5 upon 9 plus probability of n upon 6 plus n into 4 upon 9 right this is given to be equal to 50 upon 99 so solving this we will get 30 plus 4n upon 9 into 6 plus n equal to 50 upon 99 now from here we will get 11 so this will be equal to 330 plus 44n equal to 300 plus 50n right that is 6n is equal to 30 that is n is equal to 5 right so the correct answer is option number 